Hello, this is a Keycloak tutorial on two-factor authentication using one-time password generators. In this tutorial, we are going to set up uh, one-time password authentication for all our users within, a, within our demo realm. We're going to do this using Google Authenticator. We're going to do this from both the admin console and from the user account management page. So let's get to work. The first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to open up the admin console. Okay, we're going to be working in the master realm of the administration console. And what we're going to do for the master realm, we're going to set it up so that users are forced to have a one time password generator. One time password generator is a small application that runs on your iPhone or your Android device. It generates a temporary password once a minute, which you have to type in along with your regular password when you log in. So, to enable this from the admin console, go to the settings, left menu item in the master realm, click on the credentials sub menu item. And there you'll see a required user credentials select box. You're going to click on that and you'll see TOTP. Click that and hit save. Now that we've hit save, every user in the master realm is going to be required to set up a one-time password generator. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log out of the admin realm and re-log back in. So when I re-log back in here, I'm going to be asked to set up a Google Authenticator. And again, this, um, this Google Authenticator is an application that you download to your mobile device, either an iPhone or an Android device. And what's nice about this uh, particular Google Authenticator is that you can import the settings for the one-time password generator by scanning in this barcode here. So right now I got my iPhone running and I put my iPhone up against this, uh, this image here and it's scanned it in and now I have the token all set up and ready to run. Sorry you can't see it. but Anyway, um, I type in this temporary password for my iPhone and now I will be logged in. Okay. Okay, another thing I want to show you is the account management page, user account management pages. Um, you should have uh, seen these in the other tutorials, but uh, Key Keycloak provides um, some extra screens that every user can access. It's their user account management screens. Um, and from the admin console, it's hooked up to this service. Uh, if you click right-click on the admin button here, that your user icon here, you'll see a manage account. When I click on that, I'm brought to the... Uh, user account management pages for my admin user. In this you can specify your last name, first name, that sort of stuff. You can reset your password. You can also view your and manage your um, authenticators. So see here um, I, I set up my Google Authenticator from from before and what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to delete this I'm going to delete this authenticator and set up a new one. So I'll bring up my iPhone again and scan in that barcode and I should be good to go. And once I, that is set up, I'll enter in the new password, 127, save, and now my new Google Authenticator is all set up. So if I sign out, sign back in, enter in my one time password. log back in. Okay, so what, what I had shown you um, was that I'm requiring one-time password for all users within the master realm. I can change this as well to, to only require them to have passwords. I can click Save and um, users are only required to have passwords but my admin will still have a one-time password generator.
Okay, so if I go back to my manager account, I can delete this Google Authenticator um, by removing it right there. See, it says uh, Google Authenticator removed. And now when I sign out, I don't have to use a Authenticator anymore. Okay. So again, um, I turned off requiring one-time password and I removed it as a requirement for my admin. Now I can go back to my admin console and enable Authenticator if I want to just for this account. So each user account can add an Authenticator if they want to even though it's not required by the realm. Okay, that's it on two-factor authentication. Please check out our website for other t tutorials about Keycloak. Thanks, bye.